why it's so important to make your dough dry? Well, because the little skin that you can see now in the video helps us to be able to shape it, to hold the shape a bit more, to don't attach to the banetone. So you don't only need the flour to be dusted on top of your proving basket, but you also need the dough to be slightly dry. It doesn't have to be thick, millimeters thick, it needs to be a slightly layer, just the one that I'm gonna show you right now. Keen onto your dough, you see? It doesn't stick. Can you see it? It doesn't stick. Something that nobody's ever showed you before. See, we need to push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Now we put it into a proving basket. Put some semolina onto the dough. Slightly tuck it in a bit more. Smells delicious, the crumb look is bouncy as you want it to be, it pulls apart perfectly. The crumb is delicious, slightly acidic, sweet, you can taste the beautiful bit of rye that's into the... Buonissimo! Man, this is unbelievable. Hey, I hope you understood the, the reason why we want the dough to dry, I hope you liked the video. And if you feel like you're learning a lot from this channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.